Hey guys, you're watching Tech Radar. I'm Basil and this is an iPhone 8 7 Plus. It's not an iPhone 8, sorry, but it is running iOS 11, the latest version that will be on the iPhone X, iPhone 8 and 8 Plus. iOS 11 really comes in three strains, the one on the X and the one on the rest of the phones and the one on iPads. This video is going to explain what's different with each version. First, let's start with the iPhone X. And this is really all about the front camera and the lack of bezels. You can create these things called Animojis. Using the Smart Face ID camera technology, it will map out your face and you can animate emojis based on your facial expressions. The Face ID technology goes even further. You can unlock your phone with it and even secure Apple Pay transactions. That extends to iTunes as well. Another idiosyncrasy of iOS 11 on the iPhone X is the control center. Rather than swipe up from the bottom, you swipe down from the top right hand side. If you want your notification shade, you swipe down from the top of the middle. This is all to accommodate the bezel free display. The iPhone X and the iPhone 8 also have portrait lighting. This uses the dual cameras around the back of the iPhone X and 8 and the front face ID camera on the iPhone X to bring out features by adjusting the lighting after you've taken your shot. Now onto iOS 11 on an iPad. And if you're a Mac user, you may be familiar with the dock at the bottom of the screen. Something similar has made its way here. You can access all your applications using the dock and even drag and drop applications into corners of your screen for split screen multitasking, taking full advantage of your iPad screen size. If you have an Apple Pencil, iPad users will also be able to benefit from off-screen notes. Screens off, you can write on the display, just like you can in the Samsung Galaxy Note 8, for example. As for the rest of the features iOS 11 brings, these will trickle down to every type of iOS device, iPads, iPhones, and iPhone Xs. And we're gonna start with a new control center look and fill. Drag up from the bottom and you can see you've got a draggable brightness and volume level. There's also a new files application that allows for easier organization of all your files and tight iCloud integration. iCloud also syncs with messages in order to free up storage from your smartphone. There's a new look and feel to the app store as well. Everything's just bigger, bolder, and it just looks cleaner. As for Siri, it's smarter and it also sounds a lot more human. Apple's also combined the lock screen and notification center so you don't need to swipe out a notification from one and then the other. It's taken care of all at once. An update to Apple Maps has also seen new indoor navigation. So if you're at an airport and wanna know what shops are around, you can just hover over it in Apple Maps and you'll see them dotted around. There are a few other improvements under the hood as well. Apple Pay now supports peer-to-peer -peer payments. You've also got a smart do not disturb feature when you're driving and there's better airplay to support. For the full list of features, check out the article on techradar.com and of course, our other videos too. Thanks for watching.